Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a fixed beam when it carries uniformly distributed load for a distance of A from the left side. First we have to find the fixed end moments. Then we have to find the fixed end moments when the UDL is acting only half the span. Also when UDL is acting for the entire span. Let us consider an elemental distance dx at a distance of x from A. The load acting for the elemental distance dx is equal to W into dx. The fixed end moments due to the elemental load W dx will be dMA and dMB. Now let us form dma in the previous video we have derived the fixed end moments due to the point load w acting at a distance of a from the left side for ma the formula is w a b square upon l square we can use the same formula here the load is w dx so instead of W, we have to apply W dx. Here A is x and B is L minus x. From here, to find out MA, we have to make integration. The limits for the integration are 0 to A because the UDL is acting from 0 to A. Let us take W and L square outside because they are constants. For L minus X the whole square, we can apply A minus B the whole square formula A square minus 2AB plus B square. Using the formula we are getting this. Then let us multiply X with this term. When we do that we are getting this. Then let us go for integration. We know the formula for integration x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Using the formula we can integrate. Then let us apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit 0 because when we apply the whole term will become 0. So only apply the upper limit a. Instead of x we have to apply a. When we do that, we are getting this. Then let us take LCM. Let us keep 12 as LCM. So we have to make all of the denominators as 12. Here we have to multiply the numerator and denominator with 6. Here we have to multiply the numerator and denominator with 4. Here we have to multiply numerator and denominator with 3. From here, let us take a square and 12 outside. Finally, we have made a formula for ma. Now, let us form dmb. For a concentrated load acting at a distance a, the formula for mb is w a square b upon l square. We have already seen this formula. Here instead of W, we have to apply W dx. Instead of A, we have to apply x. And instead of B, we have to apply L minus x. We already know the limits for the integrations 0 to A. Let us take the constants W and L square outside. Then let us multiply x square with the L minus x. When we do that, we are getting this. Then we can go for integration. Using this formula, we can make the integration. Then let us apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit. Only apply the upper limit. Then let us take LCM. Let us keep LCM as 12. So we have to multiply the numerator and denominator of this term by 4 
and here we have to multiply with 3 then let us take a cube and 12 outside finally we have made the formula for mb we have made the formulas for the fixed end moments when the udl is acting at a distance of a from the left ma will be acting in the anti clockwise direction and mb will be acting in the clockwise direction now let us find the fixed end moments when the udl is acting for the half span we can easily find ma and mb for that in these formulas instead of a we have to apply l by 2 first let us find ma you can see that in this formula i have applied instead of a l upon 2 for l upon 2 the whole square we will get l square upon 4 then we can eliminate this l square and l square 4 twos are 8 so here we will get minus 4 l square for l upon 2 whole square we will get l square upon 4 6 l square minus 4 l square we will get 2 l square 12 into 4 we will get 48 here we can take lcm we have to multiply this term with a 4 when we do that we are getting 8 l square 8 l square plus 3 l square we will get 11 l square 48 into 4 we will get 192 finally we have made the formula for ma 11 w l square upon 192 now let us find mb for that in this formula instead of a we have to apply l upon 2 for l upon 2 the whole cube we will get l cube upon 8 we can eliminate l square and cube here we can take lcm we have to multiply 4l with 2 when we do that we will get 8l 12 into 8 we will get 96 8l minus 3l we will get 5l l into l we will get l square 96 into 2 we will get 192 finally we have made a formula for mb 5wl square upon 192 we have found the formulas for the fixed end moments ma and mb in a fixed beam when it carries udl for the half span now we are going to find out the fixed end moments when the udl is acting for the whole span we can easily find them for that we have to apply l instead of a in these formulas first let us find ma for that in this formula instead of a we have to apply l this l square and this l square will be eliminated 8 into l into l we will get 8 l square then we can add these three values after adding we are getting l square finally we are getting the formula for ma w l square upon 12 now let us find mb for that in this formula instead of a we have to apply l we can eliminate this l square and cube 4l minus 3l we will get l l into l we will get l square finally we have made the formula for mb we are getting w l square upon 12 we have formed the formulas for the fixed end moments ma and mb for the fixed beam when it carries udl for the full span now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video